Uh, the sun grand plan sand is pulling up a conveyor and onto a conical pile at a rate of 10 cubic feet per minute. The diameter of the base of the cone is approximately three times the altitude at what rate is the height of the pile changing when the pile is 15 feet high. Now first let's uh, discuss what is a conveyor. A conveyor is used in ma manufacturing uh, company. So for example, this one. So all the products are going, this is going, uh, moving uh, all around. So, and this will drop. So imagine that for our sand. So if the conveyor is this, so it's dropping, it's dropping the uh, sand and while the sand it drops it uh, pile into a conical shape now so now the thing the thing that we need to do is we need to find the rate of the height of the pile okay so this is the height of the pile so it's changing as the sun uh, pull down from the conveyor. And this is the diameter of the shape formed by the sun. Now, from here, it says here the rate of 10 cubic feet per minute. So the sun is pulling down onto a conical pile at a rate of 10 cubic feet per minute. 10 cubic feet per minute. Now, if you say cubic feet, you're talking about volume. Now, cubic feet per minute, we're talking about the change in the rate of the volume. Because as the pile or the sand goes down or pull down, the volume is increasing so the rate of change of the volume with respect to time is 10 cubic feet so feet to the third power over minute it's per minute so per minute we increase 10 in the volume of the sand now also it says the diameter of the base of the cone is approximately three times the altitude. So meaning the diameter is three times the altitude. Now, the what we need is the rate of the height. So we need the dH over dt of the pile when the pile is 15 feet high. So at the height of 15. Now, since this is a conical uh, shape, so the volume of the cone is one third pi r squared multiplied by the height. Now, we need the radius, so we have diameter is three times the height where in diameter is twice of the radius. So this is diameter is twice of radius, which is equal to three times the height. Now what we need is the change of height over time. So we need to replace our radius by the height. So this one, we divide three both sides. So we have two R over three is equal to the height or since we need to replace the radius by the height we can say this is uh, the radius is equal to three halves of the height so we will substitute that from we will substitute three halves of the height in place of the radius so we have volume is equal to one third pi 
three halves of the height to the second power multiplied by the height. Then we distribute, simplify this, distribute the exponents. So three squared is nine and two squared is four. Then we have eight squared multiplied by eight. So it is eight to the third power. Now we can simplify this. So we have third and nine will be three. So this turn to be volume is equal to uh, three over four pi multiplied by eight to the third power. Then after that, we can do our derivative. So our derivative with respect to time, the volume will be dv over dt is equal to three fourths of pi and the derivative of h to the third power is three h squared dh over dt then we need to substitute the height which is it says is 15 and the change in volume is 10 so Change in volume is 10, 3 port, pi. We have 3 multiplied by 15 squared, which is the height, d is over dt. Now, to simplify this, so we have 10, 3 port, pi. So we have 3 multiplied by 15 squared is 225 dA over dt. Now, using the calculator, we can simplify the 3 port. So, we have 3 divided by 4, parentheses, then we have the pi, then multiply by 3 multiply by 225 and this is equal to 1590.43 dH over dt then we divide both sides so by 1590.43 dH over dt so this will be using the calculator. We have 10 divided by 1590.43 is equal to 0 0.006. 0 0.006. And the unit is speed per minute is equal to dH over dt. So this is the change in rate of the height for every minute.